Hi, Ben here from Pride and Fly Fishing, and this is your Belize Fly Fishing Travel Guide and Trip Planner, where we're gonna go over everything you need to know before booking your next trip to Belize. Belize is a small, remote, Central American country that's smushed between Guatemala, Mexico, and the Caribbean Sea. Because it doesn't have the same population that some of the bordering countries have, it's really known for its eco-friendly adventures, and that, of course, includes fly fishing. Belize also has an amazing history of fly fishing lodges. In fact, the first lodge there was built way back in the 1960s, and many presidents of both the US and foreign countries have visited Belize to go fly fishing. Don't forget to book your next trip through Trident Travel. We've got a great list of destinations and you'll never pay more than going directly through the lodge. But if you're still wondering why you should go to Belize, there are four main reasons. And number one, of course, is permit. Belize is one of the most amazing permit destinations in the world. And while there are other places to catch permit, the combination of amazing guides and untouched water makes Belize one of the absolute best places to catch your first or your 50th permit. The second reason to go to Belize is that it is really remote. You can go to places like Turnef Flats where you are gonna feel like you're at the end of the earth and it is an unbelievable experience to be so close to home yet really, really far away. As fly fishermen, we're constantly seeking that solitude and you get that in Belize much more so than you do in a lot of other destinations. The third reason to go to Belize is gonna be the luxurious accommodations. And I'd say one of the things that in my mind separates Belize from other Caribbean destinations is that it is just a really comfortable place to go. Everything is just a little bit nicer, a little bit more comfortable, a little bit better air conditioned in Belize than it is in a lot of other places that I've been to. And number four, it's easy to get to. Belize City has nonstop flights from most of our NFL cities. It's just a super easy place. Hop on a flight, you're there in four hours or so from most of the US. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, what about Mexico? They sound pretty similar. So in this next segment, we're gonna talk a little bit about the differences between Belize and Mexico and why you should choose one over the other. First up, while Belize City is a really easy airport to get to, Cancun is way easier to get to. Cancun has nonstops from even some minor cities. The next thing to consider is the food. Do you like Mexican food? If you love Mexican food and you wanna eat some tacos, Belize is not gonna have that for you. The food in Belize is amazing, but if you're looking for that authentic Mexican experience, you should probably head to Ascension Bay. I would also say that at its peak, in my experience, the fishing can be better in Mexico. You've got Espiritu Santo Bay and Ascension Bay, and these are massive, massive fisheries with tons and tons of fish. And if you hit it absolutely just right, which is very challenging to do, the permit fishing in particular can be a little bit better in Mexico than in Belize. So if you're looking for that real, true, hardcore permit angling experience and you're willing to go off season and chase the absolute best fishing, you're probably gonna find that to be a little bit better in Mexico than in Belize. But Mexico also has some downsides. If you're not going in the off season, you might find that Ascension Bay is a lot more crowded. Belize is spread out, it's remote, and especially once you get away from Ambergris Key and San Pedro, the lodges are gonna be pretty much the only lodge in the area, and you might not see another angler all day. Another big plus for Belize, in my opinion, is the accommodations. While the accommodations in Mexico are fine, they're geared more towards the hardcore angler. In Belize, you've got plenty of luxury options that you can bring your family, bring your significant other, and they'll have a great time even if they don't fish. 
I also found that Belize has a greater diversity of fishing options. While Mexico has more concentrated options like going to Campeche to catch baby tarpon or going to Ascension Bay for permit, pretty much at any point in the year, you're able to target more species and see more things in Belize than you are in Mexico. So if you're looking for a wide ranging flats experience, you might be a little bit better off in Belize than you are in Mexico. And last but not least, hablas espanol? If you don't, you'll definitely be fine in Mexico. Everyone speaks English at any of the lodges that we work with. But with that said, some people are more comfortable in a true English speaking country, and that's gonna be Belize. Now, let's talk about some of the target species in Belize. Up first is bonefish. We've been fishing for bonefish in Belize forever and ever, and Belize, and especially Turniff Atoll, has an amazing bone fishery. However, these bonefish are gonna be smaller and, of course, easier to catch than they are in, say, the Bahamas or the Florida Keys that are more of a trophy fishery. Up next is tarpon, and Belize also has a surprisingly good juvenile tarpon fishery. Juvenile tarpon are gonna be available pretty much year round up and down the coast. And if you go in certain times of the year or in certain places, and especially Belize River Lodge, you're gonna have the opportunity to fish for those larger migratory tarpon. And that's really a great option if you're willing to go during some of the warmer months. Our third target species, of course, is gonna be snook. And Belize also has a great snook fishery. And since they've banned gill nets, that fishery is actually gonna get even better. So while it's good right now, you're gonna to start to see bigger snook that are gonna be easier to catch and more accessible throughout the Belize coastline. I actually caught a really, really big snook, maybe in the 20 pound class on my last trip to Belize. So there are definitely monsters to be had there. And let's not forget about permit, which is the last of the big four and perhaps the most important and probably the reason why you're watching this video in the first place. The permit fishing Belize is fantastic and up and down the coast, you're gonna get shots. They are everywhere. They seem to eat a little bit better in Belize. Don't tell anyone I told you that, but it's a fantastic fishery. And while you're not gonna see the massive, massive, massive fish that you're gonna get in the Florida Keys, what you do get in Belize is numbers and lots of shots. The guides are really, really psyched to catch permit, and it's an amazing permit fishery. But before we move on to another topic, there are also lots of other fish that can be caught in Belize. On our most recent trip, we caught jacks, sharks, even a king mackerel. So there's tons of diversity to be had in Belize if you're willing to look beyond the, the traditional flat species to keep things really interesting for you. Up next is where to go in Belize. And we're gonna break Belize into five key regions. Up first is probably the most well-known, which is Ambergris Key or San Pedro. And it's also gonna be the most crowded. So you're not really gonna get the off-the-grid remote Belize experience if you go to San Pedro. But it is gonna be a place where you have access to non-fishing things to do. So it might be a good place to go if you're bringing your significant other. Up next is Belize City and Belize River, and that really means Belize River Lodge. And that's gonna be an absolutely amazing tarpon and snook fishery. And because of their location and really being the only lodge in the area, they've got access to hundreds of square miles of just amazing tarpon fishing. But if you're looking for a dedicated permit fishery, keep listening. Up next, I've separated Turniff Atoll as its own region. Turniff Atoll is a huge atoll, and because of the great protections around it and just the uniqueness of that fishery, it is an unbelievable place, and it just kind of stands out from the rest of Belize. If you're interested in Turniff, I highly recommend watching our Turniff Flats review and our video about Turniff Flats Lodge because it's gonna go into way, way more detail than we are here. But Turniff is amazing. It's got 
probably the best bone fishing in Belize. It's got some amazing migratory tarpon fishing in the summertime. You should go. Up next is gonna be the Placentia Hopkins region, which is kind of the northern part of southern Belize, south of center of the country. This is where permit become the true target species. And the fishing here is defined by thousands and thousands of small flats that pop up out of nowhere. And these are where permit love to hang out. They've got access to deep water and they can come up on these flats and feed. And there's probably more permit here than anywhere else. It is an absolutely incredible permit fishery. And on top of that, we've got great lodges that you're gonna be staying on your own private island. It's really something to behold. Super, super cool part of the country. And last but not least is Punta Gorda. And Punta Gorda is far southern Belize. And I really like Punta Gorda because not only do you have one of my favorite lodges in the world, Kapal Tree, but you've got lagoon permit fishing. And while lagoon permit fishing isn't necessarily the same as going on to a flat and you know getting that gin clear water. The permit fishing in the lagoons around Punta Gorda offers the ability to catch permit even when the weather isn't that good. So if the wind kicks up, you'll still be able to see these fish moving around. The fishing is just incredible. Add to that the amazing, amazing guides at Garbutts and you've got an absolutely incredible destination. The bottom line is for Belize, choose the spot that's gonna match your angling desires and you're gonna have an amazing trip. Up next is one of the most asked questions at Trident Travel, which is when to go to Belize. And the truth is the fishing is really good in Belize all year long, but that's what you're gonna hear from everyone else. So at Trident, we wanna tell you the best times to go. And in Belize, there are two times a year that sort of stand out. The first is going to be the spring into summertime. And depending on where you're going, the time period between March and May for Belize River Lodge and May and especially June and July for Turnef is going to be when you're going to find those big migratory tarpon. And that's an awesome addition to an already amazing experience. And the second time period that's worth discussing is September to November. And this is really when not to go to Belize. It's traditionally the rainiest time of the year and they also have higher tides. So it makes that permit fishing a little bit tougher. So if there's one time of the year to maybe think about rescheduling, it's gonna be that time. If you've got more questions about Belize, don't hesitate to call us here at Trident Travel at 888-413-5211. And we've got two more must-watch videos on Belize, which is our Belize gear guide and our top 10 flies for Belize. And they are already published on our YouTube channel, so make sure you look them up. And of course, if you like getting great travel content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.